best shelter. We would have been soaked if we didn't make it here. I mean, not us personally, but our tent would have been soaked. And that would have been a pain to put in the bag this morning. I checked the Gut Hook app, and 501 Shelter's next in 15 miles exactly. Now, it has a caretaker, and from what we saw in the comments days previous, it's locked. And then I just checked a comment on May 11th, and it says, please keep out, but he's allowing through hikers in. He's leaving the door unlocked, and you can go in, he'll come in, he'll see who you are, and if you're a through hiker, he's letting you stay, according to what the comments say. Now, that'd be really nice, because it's supposed to rain from 3 o'clock on all day long, I think. 3 or 6 o'clock, I can't remember. If we want a dry tent, we're going to have to make it 15 miles. It's a really nice shelter. We'll see what the day has to unfold. slept in the shelter and it was nice being away from the rain the only problem that we had mice Casey had a fun time watching them she was sitting at the edge and just looking at them and it was her entertainment for the day I was waiting for her to feed them cheese or something hyper. yeah they were really hyper and while I was trying to sleep I was just about to go to sleep and my hand was out of the sleeping bag and a mouse touches my hand and I freak out, I freak Casey out and I couldn't sleep with my hands out of the sleeping bag for the rest of the night. Other than that, it was a good night. what's gonna happen. Right now, I'm enjoying my tuna with cheese and Doritos. I got yodels. Good stuff. So, now I'm at a road. If you notice, I'm all alone. We uh, got into a little bit of an argument. So she walked ahead, and then since I'm faster, I caught up to her, and then I walked ahead. Um, she should be here. She's probably like a mile or two behind me. So I'm getting kind of worried now, and I'll wait here, and we'll hash it out like adults and get on our merry way. Sometimes this happens. Look who's behind me. So, we're not mad at each other anymore. I think we're both just having really bad days. Right? Yep. Bad day. It's just a bad day. It's hot. There's so much mud everywhere. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's hot. There's so much mud. There's rocks. It's just a bad day. She lost her trekking pole guard. It's just, it's been a crap show all day. And we still have nine miles to 501 shelter. And it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon.
absolutely sucked. It's still not over. Between the rocks and these constant ups and downs today, uh, what sucks with me on my phone, on gut hook, it's working besides the elevation. For some reason, Pennsylvania through Maryland, I can't read the elevation. There, nothing shows up. So when I'm not around Casey, I don't know when I'm going up, I don't know when I'm going down. So after a while, it kind of gets annoying. Never thought I'd say that, but I have officially said it. Today, day five, sucks. <laughs> Thank you. 